Brandon and B2V2 here today to show you how to improve your rooting and foot stability with a drill that we really love, the Band X drill. This drill requires a very light band, as light as you can possibly find, because if you use a heavy band, you'll probably rip your little toe off and we don't want that kind of liability. Brandon, show them what it looks like. So we got a band, we looped it up, we're gonna twist it in the middle. Brandon's gonna step through with the opposite foot. He's gonna loop it around his ankles. He's gonna loop one around his big toe and the other around his small toe, and he's going to repeat that on the other side. Now, what we have going here is we have three different points of cueing that we're working on. This is really like a complete global foot stability and like cueing drill. We have a little bit of work coming from the outside ankle, that stack the ankle cue that we really like. This is a great drill to be able to work on that. We also have a little work going on from that big toe. Super, super important that we press this section of the foot into the ground during squatting, deadlifting, if we wanna get the most out of our knee extensors. And finally, we have a little bit under that third, that, that small toe, that final third point of contact that we often refer to. So not only are we getting great cueing to press into the ground, we're getting a ton of cueing to press outward into the band, which is exactly what we're looking for. The way that we would do this now is we would perform a few squats. Go ahead, Brandon. There's not a ton to be gained from just rigging this up. We need to move with it. And the best way to do it is to squat because rooting and foot stability becomes very challenging with a greater degree of ankle flexion that you, uh, that you use, uh, such as in a squat. So we would prefer to squat. And if you really struggle with this drill or foot stability, we would recommend pausing at the bottom position, building time there and building uh, more joint tolerance in that position. Now, if you're like Brandon, check out this band setup. A lot of times we'll have this band underneath the small toe as well. It tends to be just a little bit too aggressive, which is why we looped it up and didn't include it in that one. But uh, Brandon, go ahead and relax your small toe here if you can. And you'll notice how it picks up off of the ground like that. What Brandon's cueing now is to press down into the ground and to reach that toe out, to kind of splay it out. That's the exact cue that we're looking for with this drill. So if you're somebody who struggles with, um, like your, your toes are kind of overlapping in your shoes, maybe you're someone who rolls your feet to the outside or to the inside, or if you lose your heel pressure in the squat, this is a drill that's going to cover all of your bases and you don't even have to go any further than this one. What do you think there, Brandon? Yeah, just one additional thing to add, I really like using this with load as well. So using a pretty heavy goblet squat, um, and like he said, doing some lengthy pauses, some tempo work and things of that nature can be a very productive addition to this drill. Brandon's out.